uh, I think it is that person, the, the consumer, who is your biggest teacher. So, uh, Karan, um, Fab India is uh, the biggest brand today in terms of traditional Indian wear, but today you have expanded across several categories, furniture, furnishings, uh, there's also uh, FMC, so uh, uh, I think, uh, what, achars and other, many other products, organic foods, right? That's the uh, right word for it. Um, how do you market these products uh, to a young uh, audience which is primarily digital today? So Fab India, actually if I was to just go back to when we were formed uh, back in the 1960s, um, the, the, the fabric offering actually came very close to what was initially the home offering. So the home business for us has actually been one of the older businesses. The fabric offering, the garment offering, obviously there, thereafter became uh, bigger and is today the biggest part of our business. Um, some of the other businesses which you mentioned, uh, organic food, uh, personal care, uh, are relatively newer businesses that we've added over a period of time. Um, I think the one thing that beautifully unites all of our products is this entire story of all our products being derived from a certain amount of India's rich cultural heritage, rich cultural history, um, traditions, recipes, wisdom and knowledge. Uh, when that happens, then be that uh, happening for garments or for home products uh, or for personal care products or for food products, uh, I think that the task for us is to speak with this audience, uh, telling them stories about who we are, where we've come from. You know, one question about the digitization of Fab India uh, as, as a company. You have an e-commerce, you have an omni-channel model as well. Right. Uh, a lot of your products are dependent on a touch and feel, right? Yes. I mean, when I buy a cloth, uh, cloth uh, a shirt maybe, uh, even a, you know, a piece of furniture, uh, for me it's very hard and maybe I belong to an older school, for me it's sort of very hard to buy something without really feeling it because I mean it's okay, I can buy a pen yeah. or, or a phone. So that's this is going to be the same. Right. Uh, how have you been able to counter that challenge uh, among uh, among consumers, or maybe do you feel that challenge is, does not exist among younger consumers, consumers younger than me, anymore? It's a fair question, but it's also a question that's been around for a while. Right. Uh, quite honestly, uh, you know, back when e-commerce really began for the industry, there was always these questions on how do we touch and feel products versus the entire experience, experiential side of shopping. Uh, I think what's happened over a period of time is uh, there is there's a great deal of awareness and not just awareness, there's a great deal of love for the kind of products that we do, the kind of fabrics that we work with, the kind of designs, prints, textures that we work with. So everybody has a fairly decent idea of what a Fab India product uh, looks like, feels like, behaves on your body, uh, performs on you. Uh, and therefore, uh, a lot of those kind of uh, issues for us are not as pronounced as they would perhaps be for some other brands. Um, given the kind of standard DNA and the core that we follow when we uh, go about doing a product development. Um, that said, yes, there is always a percentage of people who would want to physically um, touch and feel the products, uh, especially when they are very high value, high purchase products uh, coming from a home and lifestyle businesses. Uh, but quite honestly, I think we're very fortunate to be in a position where A, there is a great understanding of what the brand stands for and what it will present as a product. Uh, and B, uh, you know, the quality of a product is something which is kind of, the quality and the look and feel, the texture of a product is something that's really been established now for a while. So, you know, it, it's not so much of an unknown when you, when you go around So it's easier when product. it's one brand rather than an e-commerce platform dealing with several brands. It is. Uh, so, I mean, there's a, there's a stereotype, right? Fab India is largely uh, for women. Most of your consumers are women. Is that true or would you like to sort of burst the myth? Uh, what, what do your numbers say? So, the numbers would be skewed uh, in, in favor of women. And I think that's a very good thing to happen because a woman today is an extremely important decision maker and makes decisions on various things that go into a home. And I say home and not just on herself, which means that we're not talking only apparels and garments or personal care, but also the food products, also the home and lifestyle products. Um, that being said, I think the share of business that we are receiving from the male audience, the male segment, the kid segment is also increasing rapidly right. uh, month on month as we, as we go along. Uh, so the woman uh, continues to remain an extremely prized customer of ours. Uh, extremely important for our overall scheme of things. Uh, but it's also 
equally true to say that the, the other audience pieces, um, the men and the kids, are rapidly growing in their contribution. A little bit about uh, Karan Kumar uh, outside of work. What is where, where is the breeding ground for the net, next big idea? Maybe at uh, for work, maybe. So reading, lots of reading. I like okay. to follow uh, some authors. Reader. I like to follow some uh, influencers and thought leaders. Um, but I think my biggest teacher, my biggest um, mentor, as it were, uh, I have to admit, will always be the consumer. So the lessons that I learn spending time with consumers, audiences, on the shop floor and off the shop floor is actually what really um, you know, stimulates the entire thought process of what next, what new, um, what better and, and how much better. Uh, because I truly believe that as, uh, as a business leader and, and at, at the core of it all as a marketer, uh, I think it is that person, the, the consumer, who is your biggest teacher. Uh, you learn your best and your hardest lessons from there. And that's when uh, you, know, you realize that what, uh, what you're doing right and how it's coming across to him or her and what is it that you can do better. Yeah.